Hi, this is Judith Karakshani and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 139 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This case illustrates use of intravascular ultrasound for finding the culprit vessel in a patient with non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. The patient was a woman that presented with a non-ST elevation myocardial infarction and a troponin of 4 and was referred for urgent coronary angiography. Angiography showed patent right coronary artery without any significant stenosis. However, there was a feeling of a vessel on the lateral wall. The LAD was patent, as was the circumflex, but once again, there is a vessel on the lateral wall of the heart that is filling late via collaterals. The question is, which is this vessel and how do we get to it? Presumably, this is the culprit vessel for the patient's presentation with an acute coronary syndrome. So we did multiple additional projections. This is the spider view. The LAD looks okay. Once again, we cannot identify a branch. There is no obvious ramus. This is the cranial, areocranial projection that also demonstrates a patent left anterior descending artery without any obvious occlusion of a side branch. The question is what to do next. How can we get to this vessel? Is this a diagonal? Is this an obtuse marginal? And what we decided to do is intravascular ultrasound. We started from the LAD and then doing a pullback on the LAD. We will come to the more proximal vessel. There appears to be a large occluded vessel. that is close to the proximal LAD. Here is the vessel. And this is where the IVUS was located when we identified the ostium of the occluded vessel. So this is an early diagonal vessel. And then once we localized the origin of the vessel, we were able to advance a guide wire that seemed to course in the anticipated location of the vessel. However, to confirm 100%, we did intravascular ultrasound again. And uh, IVUS demonstrates that indeed the wire we use, the Sion Black, is within this um, vessel that has been occluded. So IVUS here was used both to identify the origin of the vessel, but also to confirm that the wire we placed actually went into that vessel. After doing that, we were able actually to restore flow with balloon dilation. This is an early diagonal branch, as we had suspected. And then the vessel was predilated again. Timothy flow was achieved. And then it was standard with a 3.5 by 15 millimeter drag eluting stand that um, provided a nice result that was confirmed with intravascular ultrasound that shows that the stand is well expanded and uh, covers the ostium of the vessel without, fortunately, going into the left anterior descending artery. This was the final result with good flow into this diagonal branch. This is a large bifurcating diagonal that was supplying a large portion of the anterior lateral wall. And the recanalization restored flow and uh, restored uh, the EKG and stopped the patient's chest discomfort. So in summary, when the Culprit vessel is unclear in patients with acute coronary syndromes. Use of uh, intravascular imaging, IVUS in this particular case, was useful for identifying the origin of the vessel. This happened to be a diagonal branch that was occluded at the ostium, and IVUS demonstrated the location of the vessel, and also it helped confirm that the guide wire actually went into this branch after wiring was attempted with a Sion Black. Thank you.